All right, we're back, ready to continue our missions here in the Selenos system. Okay, we got a, let's see, we've got a couple things we can do. Let's go over to the officer's lounge here. And uh, there's a couple people we can talk to. Looks like Cat Scratch, ooh, and Captain Paulson both seem to be enjoying a beverage. Let's talk to a Cat Scratch here. Any of these men before, sir? <laughs> Do you know the records? It's new to me. They are to you. Well, none of them are from the border worlds, I can tell you that. That doesn't surprise me. That one who met us on the flight deck? See there? What about him? He's taking over Eisen's cabin. What? What a self important bastard. He is a self important bastard. Everything's going to hell. Everything's going to hell. Oh, man. Well, uh, I guess I'll show you both choices. Someone was bound to. Well, we need to have a talk with that guy for sure. But uh, let's go back. I'm going to have to load another one before I can uh, get the other response. So let me do that real quick. Okay, we're ready. So we've just seen this. A self-important bastard. He's a lot of nerve. I guess he thinks he's better than the rest of us. I'm gonna see what he thinks. Oh, there you go. Now let's go have a word with that guy. And that opens up this option to go to Eisen's cabin and talk to our good friend Cedar. Yeah, let's talk to Captain Paulson first. Good news. During the last mission, another squadron of ours dispatched one of those defectors. Which one? One of the pilots. Why don't you join me? I like hearing what the men have to say. Not to a captain. Isolation is a constant enemy. You have your wingmen and the brotherhood of your fellow pilots, but a captain... I have no doubt Eisen let himself get too isolated. Perhaps it contributed to his treacherous actions. His actions remain a mystery to me, sir. Oh, a confounding mystery, Colonel, why a man like him with such a distinguished career would throw it all away for a horde of subhumans. Sir. The border worlders? Barbarians, most of them. They offer sanctuary to the kill rat thief, for God's sake. But, when you think about them, ex-cons, privateers, most of them not from any kind of pure stock, you know. With cattle, you worry about stock. Not with people, as far as I know. It's just that we've gone so hot since the war. You know what I'm talking about. But these new men that we've brought in, like Seether. Is that the pilot in the briefing room? Yes. They're uh, a new breed. Should we embark on a war of galactic scale again, our best hope will be men like him. Their response swift and merciless, no quarter to the enemy. I heard no mention of honor, Captain. An oversight. Honor, of course. And Blair's finally starting to realize what's going on. And Paulson hinted a little bit, a little foreshadowing about subhumans and, uh, you know, a new breed. I think he's hitting at the genetic enhancement program that we learn about later in the game. Let's talk to Seether, shall we? Guilty of so many things. Was guilty of data theft as well. My efforts at damage control are feeble, I assure you. 
It's difficult to ascertain the amount of damage his misguided deeds may have caused. However misguided he may have been, I'm sure Captain Eisen had reasons for his actions. Eisen was weak. In the long run, the Confederation was much better off without him. I doubt that. You know... We've seen each other before. You remember? Of course, Colonel. I can't say I was particularly impressed with your behavior. Ah, that planet in the field. Riff Raff. Being on the edge of the border worlds, I had to deal with a problem as they understood. That one? I should have finished him off. And who are you to make that call? Be honest, Colonel. We make that call all the time. Every time we climb in the cockpit, every creature in the galaxy is constantly being weighed and measured in one or another's eyes. The strong, the successful, find themselves always worthy. But we get tested every day till we die. All of us. You evil son of a bitch. Man, that should be the straw that breaks the camel's back for uh, Colonel Blair. Anything else we need to do? No, let's just go to the briefing. Uh, Colonel, we think we have an approximate fix on that border world ship we've been chasing. It looks like they're going to try to escape the system through this nebula. The assignment for you and your wingman remains the same. This ship and any fighter attached to it is to be targeted. Dismissed. One other thing, Colonel. I'd like to clock some flying time. I'll be one of those in your wing. Whoa! -ho -ho. Now things really start to get heated up. Got our longbow, perfect. And we actually get to fly with Seether. Very interesting. All right, so same as before, just keep looking for the Intrepid. All right, and there he is. Man, this is kind of interesting, isn't it? Give me a damage report. Damage? You must be joking. All right. Break formation See what else he says. Fire. Negative, Colonel. Okay. Well, let's just head over to Nav 1 then. What are this feeling? Enemy in sight. Okay, go get him. Break formation and open fire. Now engage. Why do I have this feeling he's not exactly going to be the most receptive of uh, wingmen? Got another maniac on our hands. Just have this thought. Just have this feeling. I got to give him credit what credit is due, though. Boom! He is good at taking out the enemy, I will say that. All right, moving on. Enemy in sight. This is kind of interesting, though. You won't see tomorrow. You guys ready to meet your maker? Break formation and open fire. Now engage. So we get to fly with uh, the final boss, quote-unquote, if you will, of the game. And again, he does a really good job of drawing the enemy fighters. Whoa, heads up. Be careful with these Avengers, they can quickly launch a missile and finish you off. You need to be very careful. But yeah, they go down pretty easily with missiles. And Seether is just, wow, he is just a deadly shot. And he doesn't screw around. If he wasn't a bad guy, I'd say him and I would actually make a pretty good team. Give me a damage report. Damage? You must be joking. I do like that attitude, too. Hmm. Why is it the best guys always get the best, or the bad guys always get the best lines? Hmm. Enemy near. Autopilot not allowed. We got some cloakers. No, oh, there the banshees are. Break formation and open fire. Now engage. Oh, it's the nebula. They sometimes it takes them a second to show up. That's fine. Thanks. Okay, we'll finish off these banshees here. Get right back. No, wait. No! One less border ruler in space. 
All right. Mission complete. Nice shooting, Seether, I guess. We're recalling all forces, Colonel. It's clear the Border World ship isn't here. Return to the Lexington at once. All right. Fair enough. Where could that ship be, then? Where could Eisen have gone to? All right, let's land this baby. Need clearance. You're cleared, Colonel. What? The hell kind of a response is that? What are you talking about? I'm confused. 